outrage after the U.S. Supreme Court investigation could not identify the culprit who leaked Justice Alito's draft decision overturning Roe versus Wade. The leak and the decision have sparked months of massive protests, and it didn't stop there. Conservative justices, their families under assault, angry mobs targeting their homes, issuing threats, vandals trashing pro-life centers and churches around America, the FBI making exactly zero arrests in all those cases I just mentioned. Police did, however, arrest Nicholas Roski, who traveled to Washington, D.C., to Justice Kavanaugh's home. Prosecutors say he plotted to shoot Kavanaugh and other justices. Roski is charged with attempted murder. No leaker named, but the high court's investigation found dozens of people who had access to the Alito draft. 82 people knew about it. Senator, what is the American public supposed to believe when stuff can leak out of the U.S. Supreme Court? Well, here, here's my message to the leaker. Uh, congratulations, butthead. Uh, you almost got a member of the United States Supreme Court killed in his family. Um, what a narcissist. You obviously think your personal politics are, are more important than, uh, th than the, the sanctity of the United States Supreme Court. I don't mean any disrespect to the Chief Justice. I was disappointed in his report. I think this is the Chief Justice's way of saying we're not going to find out who the leaker is, and if we do know we're not going to tell you, we mm -hmm. want to move on. Mm -hmm. I think that's a mistake. Um, you because think it'll I happen believe again? That, that, well, I believe that what you allow is what will continue, and I think, the, I think we can find the leaker. Uh, maybe the Supreme Court needs to bring in help, but we need to find that leaker. Uh, make an example of him or her and knock them, hit them so hard they'll cough up bones. Not literally, of course. Uh, but I don't think uh, the Chief Justice is going to do that, and I, I think he's missing an opportunity here. Wow. Senator, thank you always for being in focus. You put a lot on our minds today. Appreciate it. Thank you. You bet.